We did good. The one you want. It ain't there? No. What goes into choosing good character names for the players in your stories and what are some of the functions names perform? Let's get to it. Hello and welcome to Get Writing. I'm Dr. Stavros Halvatsis. Character names are an important part of constructing character identity in stories. Not only does a name help us identify a character, but it often carries the flavor of that character. But how do we select the most suitable names for our cast? Consider this example. An expected mother in the early 1900s is overheard weighing up possible names for her unborn child, Pat, Kelly, Terry or Bobby. The reason she gives for considering these particular names is that each can be applied to both a boy and a girl. This flexibility could save her the disappointment of choosing a name early only to have her give it up upon discovering the actual sex of her baby. But a lack of precision is exactly the reason we should avoid assigning interchangeable names to our characters. Although a film audience will immediately recognize characters by their appearance, this is not the case with words on a page. Here the character description performs this function, which in a short story or novel may be purposefully brief or scattered throughout the text, hence the reliance on an apt name as a pointer to character identity. It is also good practice to avoid confusing readers and audiences by giving characters similar sounding names. Clive and Kyle, Sharon and Shanine, Harry and Larry, except of course where such ambiguity is intended and helps the plot. But a name may also add additional meaning, resonance and flavor to a character. Biblical names such as Paul, Eli, Ezekiel, Noah, Rachel, Mary and David carry a trace of biblical resonance to this day, especially if the context of the story supports this. In the book of Eli, the name of the hero does just that. The words book and Eli immediately conjure up a biblical association in our minds, which resonates with the plot, where in the apocalyptic world of the story, the hero's quest is to get the last surviving copy of the King James Bible to a safe haven so it can be reproduced and preserved for all humanity. I will not spoil the film for those who have not seen it yet by revealing the grand surprise concerning the book itself. Certain names are so embedded in history that they evoke an entire belief system. The more marked the historical instance, the stronger the association. Few of us, for example, would name our character Hitler without expecting a negative charge to accrue and without providing some sort of reason in the plot for our choice. The internet is replete with lists and articles on the origin of names, their meaning and history. Books on naming conventions available at any bookstore are a good choice and a good place to start hunting for all that important handle that serves to identify our characters. To sum it all up then, choosing the right character name is the first step in developing a unique and effective identity for the character or characters in our stories. Spend a little time at the start of your planning ensuring that each name fits each character across multiple registers. Well, that's it for now. If you gained value from this video, hit that like, subscribe and notification bell and leave a comment to share your thoughts and to help the channel grow. See you soon.